Hi viewers, so today we'll be talking about some shortcut keys related to the commands inside the draw menu. We we already discussed the draw menu and various commands in this. Uh, we will discuss these modeling commands in the 3D and for 2D we have discussed line, ray, construction line, multi line and others till text. So now today we are going to discuss the shortcut keys and how to bring icons on the AutoCAD window so just by one click you can also execute the command so let us start with the line command and the shortcut key for line command is L enter so now I am in the line command now and now I can draw some line or line segments so let me click over here bring your cursor in the X direction so that a tracking line can be seen in the X direction and then you can write the value like 15 and then press enter now if you want to draw a line which is inclined at some angle to the x-axis in the negative direction here we can see that the angle is in the negative direction and now we can write for example 10 enter so a line of 10 mm length and at 30 angle in the clockwise direction from the x-axis has been drawn now let's draw a line in the negative y direction so we have moved the cursor in the negative y direction and when the tracking line is seen we can write the value like 10 enter now let's say if you want to draw a line which is of equal length to this end so we will track it how we are going to do that so for example this is the point we will move the cursor in the negative y direction slowly and then different angles can be formed and here we got the perpendicular intersection and we will just click over here and suppose we also want to draw a line of equal length to this point so we will track it down and here we got the perpendicular intersection point and we will just click over here and if you want to close the object you will write C enter Right, so I'm out of the command the next shortcut key is for multi-line so we discussed how multi-line works uh, what is its uses in the previous videos so let us execute the multi-line command with the help of a shortcut key so we will write M L enter so now the multi-line command has been executed and it has been asking us to specify the start point if you want to set the scale the distance between the two lines if you want to change the justification we can also do that so uh, let us change the scale now s enter and just write 3 enter and let us click somewhere and now we can see that a multi line or you can say two parallel lines they can be drawn using this command ml for multi line if you want to get out of the command we will just press enter the next shortcut key is for polyline so for polyline the shortcut command is p l enter and now you can see p line or polyline has been executed it is asking us to specify the start point so let us specify the start point as we can also uh, you know start our drawing from a reference point with the help of this tracking so now I have brought the cursor on this end point and if I track if I track in the X direction you can see a line a tracking line has been formed and if I write 15 enter so the line has started at a 15 mm distance from that end point and now I can give it the actual length for example 7 enter 6 enter let it be the same and let it be the same as well so we have to press enter in order to get out of the command an object from polyline has been generated if we click over here the whole object gets selected just by one click the next command is for polygon and for polygon the shortcut key is pol enter so now it is asking us to specify the number of side let it be 6 you want to draw a hexagon 
it is asking us to specify the center of the polygon let it be this point asking us to specify whether the hexagon will be inscribed in a circle or circumscribed about that circle so let us select the inscribed option and now we can just give the radius because uh, at the command line it is asking us to specify the radius we can just bring the cursor in this direction and we can write 5 enter so now a polygon has been drawn inscribed by a circle whose radius is 5 mm the next command is for rectangle so for rectangle shortcut key is R E C enter it is asking us to specify the first corner point you always have to look for the command line so let me start the, the rectangle from over here and now I want to specify the other side so in this way I can I can guess about the x-axis and the y-axis direction in the x-axis the value is 2.8 something and in the y-axis it is minus 7.39 something so now I, I can give it specific values like 4 in the x direction and I have to press tab in order to get into the other option for y axis value and let it be 5 enter and now from this point the rectangle has been drawn in the positive x direction and positive y direction if you want to move that we can use the move command which we will discuss later on and we can place it over here now the next shortcut key is for arc and arc starts from a so we'll just write a enter and now we are in the arc command it is asking us to specify a start point or ray or center so start point let's say it is this point specify the second point of the arc let's say it is this this point and end point let it be this point and now an arc has been drawn Similarly, the next shortcut key is for circle. So on the screen, we'll just write C enter. And let's trace the midpoint of this polygon. This, this is how you'll verify whether the circle of radius 5 is inscribed or not. So let us click at this intersection. And let us give the radius of 5 enter. And now you can see that all the vertices they are touching the circle so that means that polygon that we drawn was actually inscribed so that was a correct option now let's zoom it the next shortcut key is for donut so we'll just write on the screen d o enter if we are in the donut command is it is asking us to specify the diameter let it be 0 0.5 enter let the outside diameter be b1 as well uh, if you want to change that we can just write the value like 2 enter and now donut is on our cursor we can place it wherever we want right we want to get out of the command we have to press escape or enter so now we are out of the command the next shorter key is for spline so we will just write on the screen spl enter and now we are in the spline command sp line smooth polyline and we can start from anywhere like here i have clicked clicked again clicked again clicked again clicked again and if I want to get out of the command I'll just press enter and I'll click outside and click outside again and now a smooth polyline has been drawn if you can't zoom out or zoom in then you have to go to the view 3d view and select the view in which you were drawing previously I was drawing in the top view so I'll click again on the top view now the whole window is in front of you now you can zoom it or zoom out now the next shortcut key is for ellipse so ellipse has a shortcut command of el enter so now we are in the ellipse command here you can see it and we have to specify the first endpoint let it be this point the other endpoint let it be uh, at a distance of 15 enter and uh, it is asking us to specify the distance from that axis to the other axis let it be 4 enter and now you can see that an ellipse has been formed the next shortcut key is for block so the shortcut key is b enter so now we are in the block command we can select the object so let's click on the select object option 
let's select an object made of uh, line segments and a rectangle as well so let's click over here and now we can see that eight objects are found we have to press enter in order to proceed further and let's select the pick point let this be the pick point and let's give it a name of let's say blog one enter and now we have generated this blog we have to close the block editor and if you want to insert that block we have to go to insert click on block click ok and now you can see that object has been converted to a block and we can place it wherever we want so let the scale factor be one so one enter and now we can see that by one click the whole object gets selected and there is just one option to move that object so we can just move it we cannot edit it so this is the, the property of block now the next shortcut key is for point and for that we can give it the shortcut key as p o enter and now we are in the point command so specify a point let that be the center of this ellipse let's click over here and now you can see that a point has been formed just near to this cursor right so we can draw points with the help of po short form the next short form is for h and for that we have to write h enter and now we are in the hash command we can just select from picking a point so let's click on the pick point icon and let's select this area this area this area this one this one and the last one is let's leave it blank we have to press enter in order to proceed further let this be the pattern as well let's increase the scale to for example 10 and let's separate the hatches and let's click on the OK option and now you can see that that area has been hatched the scale is quite larger so we have to reduce it double click click on one now you can see that that hatch has been modified the next short form is for boundary for boundary command we have to write B O enter Let's click on the pick point and let's select this area. If we click inside this area, that area has been selected as a boundary. We have to press enter in order to get off the command and, and now it says that boundary created one polyline. If you click over here, then that area has been selected as a boundary. And now we want to move that, we have to press M enter. Let this be the base point and let's move this in the upward direction and the original object they are not affected just a boundary over the previous objects has been created where we clicked so this is the boundary command the next shortcut key is for region so for region let's go to the realistic view view visual style and conceptual and if we write on the screen R E G enter and we select this object and press enter then uh, a region has been created in that area this is the short form of the region command R E G the next thing we are going to look at is the revision cloud so for that we have to write R E V C L O U D rev cloud and we have to press enter let this be the start point and now we can draw a cloud shape args so here we can write comments in order to specify that uh, which object is drawn incorrectly we can revise any drawing given to us so here you can see that a, a revision cloud has been formed now the last draw command is text and for that the shortcut key is T enter we have to specify a corner for the text and let it be this corner we have to click over here and now we can write text like engineer Z is a electrical engineer 
and if we click on the OK option, text has been written in that area. So this is the short form for the text T enter. Now, if you don't want to give the command and you want to click on an icon and let the command be executed, for that you have to bring some options or icons over this window on different sides. So we will right click on the gray area, click on the AK option and click on draw. So now draw commands are in front of you and let's place them over here or to this side as well. Now right click on the gray area again, go to AK and go to layers and bring the layers over here. Similarly, right click again on the gray area, click on AK, click on modify, which we are going to discuss in the next class. Right click on the gray area, click on AK and click on view. And let's move them to this position. Again, click on the gray area, click on AK and click on visual style because we would want to switch between 2D wireframe and conceptual view and this option is quite important so we have to have this option in front of us and by, by just one click we can execute the command. Similarly, right click on the gray area, click on AK, click on properties, move the property bar to this position. Now, right click on the gray area, click on AK and click on zoom option. So now the zoom options are in front of us. Let's place the property bar as well along with the zoom options. Right click on the gray area, click on AK and click on standard. Because there are some standard options like we can just click on this and we can create a new file. Right? So right now we don't want to do that. So we'll just get out of the command. Similarly we can pan the object you know this is panning similarly we can zoom out zoom in we can also cut any object we can also copy any object so these are the basic commands uh, and they are inside this standard toolbar so if you want to bring other options as well like we would want to have the UCS options let's place the standard icons in front of the UCS options and that's it so now some of the options they are in front of you and you you don't need to go to the various menus and select that command you just have to click on these icons like for line you have to click over here you know you can draw lines enter and then you can use rectangle you can use circle, you can use rev cloud, and here you will leave it. You can draw ellipse, you can draw polyline, polygon, polyline, construction line as well. Similarly, you can uh, perform hatching like over here enter and ok so now hatching has been performed you can generate a region you can create a table and you can add some text as well so now these options they are in front of you and you by one click you can execute the command so i hope you have learned something new and now the drawing will be easy for you because you don't need to go to that menu and select the options you know now different shortcut keys short forms and now the 
icons are in, in front of you so by one click you can execute the command if you have still any questions you can always let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching